wild goat ragu. This is one of the most complicated videos I've attempted thus far. It's quite a simple dish, it's just a wee bit involved, there's multiple steps. Cut all your vegetables up for braising the goat. Cut them up roughly. Spread them over a couple of trays. You don't want too much vegetables in one tray. When you roast them off, you want them to roast and colour up a bit rather than sweat or stew. Season your goat, then spray it with oil and then we seal it. I'm sealing it on the chakra. Spray some more oil on there before I turn it over. I'm not looking to cook it on the grill, just seal it off. Two to three legs per tray. The vegetables you saw me cutting earlier, I've roasted the vegetables and I divide them equally between the two trays. I then deglaze the vegetable pans. So, a little bit of water in the still hot tray, wooden spoon, and get all that beautiful caramelised veggie. Paper, then foil on the trays so the foil doesn't stick to the meat. Braise it for two and a half hours, then turn it over in another half hour. See how that's just, it's fallen off the bone now. Lovely, almost sticky, really, really nice. Just look at that peel back. Okay. Not another picture. If you strip the meat while it's not hot but still warm, it's easier. So I'm just coarsely pulling it off the bone. You can rip it up into very small fibres, but I'm preferring just to coarsely rip it. And then I'll chop it up with a knife and let it break down that way. But you, you can see how fine we can break it up if we choose to. Got a lot of meat from the five legs that I braised. This is the, the vegetables from the braising liquid and that, then that's a liquid. Chop up the, the pulled meat and I'm chopping it up coarsely. I could pull it all into fine tendrils but it's faster to chop it up. Get more vegetables. Seal them off in a pan until we get a fair bit of colour. Put the vegetables from braising in there as well. Let it almost stick to the bottom of the of the pot. Throw in the braising liquid. Add a bit of water and some stock. Bring that to the boil. Boil it rapidly. And then add some pureed whole peeled tomato. Reduce that down by probably about a third, at least a third, and then puree that with a stick blender. See that rich unctus sauce? And then I'm just putting the braised goat in there. Stir it round and cook that out. Reduce it down, cook it slowly until that goat is just breaking up even more. It's almost disintegrating. This is a slow process. You need to cook it out for at least 45 minutes. You can see the, the colour of the sauce is changing. It's getting thicker. The meat is starting to break down more. Look at how lovely and sticky that is. And the smell is absolutely divine. Now I have some of the ragu in a fry pan. I've added a, a bit more stock, some shallots, some salt and pepper, 
and some fusilli pasta. Toss that round. The sauce gets in the, the springy bits on the spiral pasta. And then I, I just put it in a serving bowl. Really, really simple dish. It doesn't need cheese. It doesn't need anything else. Everything you need for an amazing, tasty, hearty meal is there on that plate. Enjoy.